guys welcome back 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 to my channel this is your teacher the teacher Daryl Del Mundo do not forget to like share subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you are updated to my latest edu side vlogs my tutorials and my travels so ngayon ipapakita ko naman sa inyo kung paano i-connect ang Google Meet natin sa ating Google Classroom at sa ating Google Calendar Marahil siguro nag-iisip tayo, how are we going to schedule the meeting? How are we going to put the meeting in our classroom? So for today's topic, I will show you how these three Google applications can connect to one another. So I will teach you how to connect Google Classroom to Google Meet and Google Meet to your Google Calendar. So all you have to do is to schedule yourself right now Sit back, relax, and watch this video. See ya! Hello there guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher da, teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And for today's topic, I will show you how to connect your Google Classroom into your Google Meets. Maybe we are wondering, how are we going to put this video conferencing inside our Google Classroom? And this is the answer. I want you to watch it and listen carefully. Are you ready? Let's do it now. So, as you can see, we are now in my dashboard in my Google Classroom. So, this is the dashboard of my Google Classroom. So, I have four sections. For an instance, I have A, B, C, and D. And by the way, these classes can be moved from one place to another. For example, this one should be here and this one it should be here. Okay? Should be on this side. Okay, there you go. So, so that you can uh, arrange it. Okay. So now we are going to connect our Google Meet into our Google Classroom. So maybe we can uh, uh, give a specific date for us to have uh, this kind of meeting with them. It's like giving them a reminder or an assignment that they should be in the video conferencing on this day. Okay, so let's go first into grade 7a. Double click it and then you can see there that this is the dashboard of grade 7. So everything is posted here when you have different assignments or activities for them. And then let's go to classwork. In classwork, this is where we are going to add assignment. So in my case, this is in Tagalog. Okay, gumawa means we are going to make Takdang Aralin is the assignment. Gagawa tayo ng assignment. So, in my case, I already pre-typed it. So, for an instance, let's have virtual orientation. SY school year or school year 2020 to 2021. Then, please specify the day and the date and the time. So, Let's try Monday, August 24, 2020. So as you can see, um, uh, we are going to put the exact date, the day and the time so that the students of yours will be notified that this is an assignment. Meaning to say, if you make an assignment in the Google Classroom, kapag gumawa tayong takdang aralin dito sa Google Classroom, ibig sabihin graded siya. Pero kung hindi naman graded, ito yung pwede natin piliin. Balik tayo ha. So pag gumawa tayo, pwedeng material or material in Tagalog, uh, you can make a material, this is not graded. It's like you are going to just post something, a material. But if you want this session to be graded it's like in your first orientation in your first part of meeting together you need to motivate them by giving grades okay so we need to choose takdang aralin so in takdang aralin i already pre-typed in here okay the virtual orientation okay. there you go and then just paste it here so virtual orientation for school year 2020 2021 august 24 2020 at 10 a.m monday so do not forget the day okay so if you have any like directions or important 
things that you needed to post here, this is just optional as you can see. So you can just also post some important reminders for them to be able to remember all the things that they should bear in mind in attending this kind of session. So just paste it. So all students who belong to this section must be able to attend the virtual orientation on Monday, August 24, 2020 at exactly 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock a.m. So this is very important when it comes to the first day of classes. Orientation is very important because this is where uh, the rules, the regulations, and the reminders take, uh, took pl or take place. Okay? So that is the very important part here in making reminders. So now we need to put some grade over here. There you go. So if you want to give them uh, like 100 points or let's just say 10 points. So meaning to say that uh, if they be able to attend and comply to these two uh, accomplishments, they will have 10 points. And then uh, let's give a specific date where they need to accomplish those things. So for an instance, since we are going to have our first virtual orientation on July, and rather on August 24. Let's go here on August 24. So maybe they will be able to accomplish it on August 26. That bad, right? Okay, August 26. And let's uh, give a specific time like 12 o'clock. Okay, maybe that's enough. Okay, 12 o'clock p.m. Yeah. So, there you go. So, on August uh, 26, that is the exact date that they needed to accomplish all those uh, accomplishments for them to have that point, that 10 points. Okay? Then, if you have rubrics, you can also add rubric. Okay? So, if you do not have, then it's okay. But most likely, you have to have a rubric when it comes to this part of session. Okay? Now, we are going to connect our Google Meet in this Google Classroom. Are you ready? Okay, just watch this. Before we save it, we need to go to Google Meet. So, for you to be able to go to the Google Meet, just type meet.google.com and then there you go. It will bring you to the dashboard of the Google Meet. And then, it's just like you are starting or joining a meeting. But since you are the host, click this plus sign. Okay. So, here, you can type the name of the meeting or the nickname of the meeting. Since this is all about virtual orientation for school year 2020 to 2021. Okay. Monday. Okay, let's uh, have that one. And then let's just continue. Uh, this is like you are continuing uh, or starting a video conference, but totally it's not. Okay? You're not totally starting uh, this type of video conferencing, but rather it is very important for you to get the next step. Okay, so. Uh, since my camera is uh, on use right now, so the camera is filled, so we can uh, use our camera also, and you can also use your audio, your microphone, okay? So you can turn it off or turn it on. So as you can see here, both are turned off, okay? And then let's click join now. Okay, this is the very important part why we need to start or join the meeting. This prompt message, okay? As you can see, this is the title or the nickname of our meeting. And then you can have this unique, okay? This is the unique link, this one, this part, with the HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer, Transfer Protocol, okay? Yung S, ibig sabihin nun, it means secured. Okay? So, you just copy this unique link and then we are going to transfer it into our Google Classroom. Okay? So, 
what if your student doesn't have any internet access? That's okay. If they have like a phone, okay, if they have the load for them to be able to make a call, just dial this number, okay? And they just need to pin that number. Okay? If you do not have internet, that's okay. Use your phone to dial this number, okay? And if you do not uh, have like, uh, what they call this, you are outside and you just need to you know just tell to your teacher sir ma'am can you add me because i'm i'm still outside okay and i was not able to join the meeting i can enter okay you just need to add people here but if you have 40 students and the 50 students and if you're going to uh, add them manually that's a no-no okay that's very time consuming so this is very time bound okay just copy the link, control C, there you go, highlight and then copy the link. This is the most efficient and the easiest way for them to be able to join in your meeting. Okay, copy the unique link. Okay, so that link will connect your Google Classroom into your Google Meet. Okay, are you ready for the next step? Okay, then when we copy this one, Let's go back to our Google Classroom. So we have the title, which is connected or the same as the nickname for our virtual or video conference in Google Meet. And then we have here the reminders for you to be able to add the link that you copied in Google Meet. Let's go here, idagdag or means to add, okay? Just click it and then you will see there are different options. We have Google Drive, we have link, file, and then YouTube. Okay, just click the link icon, this one. And then here, it will uh, have a message box that that, need, that needed to have the link that you copied a while ago. So just control V, paste it, and then magdagdag ng link or add the link. And then just click this one add link okay there you go so as you can see our google meet our video meeting is already now added to our google classroom assignment this assignment has the grading okay the grading system of you for this classroom is graded and it has like uh, schedule and it is also connected to your google meet already so if you are already done with those things you need to save it okay just go here magtakda or save it if you want to do something magtakda mag schedule it's okay you can save it as a drop okay mag schedule I schedule and takdang aralin so if you want to schedule it you can schedule this one okay like August 24 at 8 a.m. So they will be able to connect that connect to your Google Meet at 8 a.m. So mag schedule and then try to save it. And then there you go. Okay, this is now your virtual orientation. Okay, these are the direct. Just remove them. Okay, let's remove it. Okay, so uh, we have now connected our Google Meet to our Google Classroom. So when we go it to, for example, this one. So I don't have any students yet, but if you have your students there, they will see all the classwork here. Okay. Let's double click it to double check. There you go. And then this, the, your students just need to click this link and then they will be able to join to your meeting. This is scheduled on August 24 at 8 a.m. So as early as 9, like 9.30, they will be able to uh, enter in my Google Meet. Okay, let's go to Google Classroom. Okay. So a while ago, that's the Google Classroom, but this is the Google Calendar rather. Okay, in our Google Calendar, you will see there are a lot of things. 
that is connected and related to your Google Meet and Google Classroom. So, it is important that this part is in months. So, bon means month. Okay? And then we have scheduled. We have year or taon. We have linggo or week. Day or araw. Okay, let's try this one. One or in month. Then, we are in July 2020. Then, let's see this part. Okay, in August 2020, in uh, 24, we should have our meeting, right? So, right at this moment, we will connect our Google Meet here in our Google Calendar. Okay? Let's click it. And then, as you can see here, we have, again, the title, Virtual Orientation. For school year 2020 to 2021. Okay, so August 24, let's just uh, add some time. Okay, 8.20 or 8, not p.m., but 8 o'clock a.m. Okay, so maybe we can uh, just remind ourselves to 10 minutes. There you go. And then, let's just need to add some link here. Magdagdag ng Google Meet video conferencing. So we are going to add a Google Meet video conferencing. You just click it. And then, you have now this unique code again or link again. So this is the unique link okay, for this part. And then, you just need to save it. Okay, so there you go. You have another reminder for you to have a Google Meet in your Google Calendar. So, you can also interconnect it from one to another or you can just connect your Google Calendar into your Google Meet or your Google Classroom into your Google Meet. Okay? So, those are the two ways for you to connect your Google Calendar into your Google Meet and your Google Classroom into your Google Meet. So that you have a schedule, okay, video conferencing in your students and assignment for them to accomplish on that day. Okay? I hope you learned something today. This is your teacher, da, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so that you are updated to my EduSci Vlogs, tutorials, and my travels. Bye! I hope you learned.